it started off with bad news and then went to good news. So at first, we have another action-packed week for you guys to enjoy. First off, we visit the new Wireworks building to see what we're gonna have to do to properly power the wire weaving machine. Next, I hop on a podcast with what used to be the first and only podcast for the fencing industry. Still the first, but not the only, Dan Wheeler. While all this is going on, Matt and Chase replace a tough to remove post. And after all that excitement, we wrap it up with a good old fashioned auction. Stay tuned for this week's Week in the Life. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe. So I'll keep an eye on it, but then if you see something that's really interesting, then by all means, let's jump in. One of the things I believe in a lot is giving back to community, whether it's your local community or the national community, but giving back is important. This week's opportunity was with SCORE of Southwest Missouri. Or what have you, I could easily stop reset and continue on knowing that we could fix that in post edit but in live you don't typically have that option well you don't have that option so i just wrapped up with an incredible interview with score of southwest missouri uh as a group of different business owners business leaders uh here in the area well i say here in the area actually in the chat there was someone from uh, atlanta and rn from atlanta so uh maybe not so much regionally anyway uh, I talk about business and business marketing specifically, how you can become your brand ambassador using live social media. Over the last several months, I created a new business. I've mentioned it before, but specifically it's called Ozark Wireworks, where we're going to be manufacturing our own chain link wire. With all the recording done in the morning, we pack up, grab Braden, head over to the new facility for Ozark Wireworks to figure out exactly what power options we have for powering the wire weaving equipment. All right, so we're on our way over to meet with an electrical contractor at the new building that we're gonna use for Ozark Wireworks. Now we're trying to figure out, well, a few things. One, we need to try to figure out the layout of how that, how the machine's gonna work in there. Trying to figure out what we're doing with the place. We're gonna need to knock out a few walls, I know, but today's mission is to meet with Michael Tillman with Complete Electric. Uh, if you're in the Southwest Missouri, we love working with Complete Electric. They're always good to us and fair to us. So anyway, we're gonna go over there and check it out right now. More in-depth stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna talk to electrician and see though, because it, it would probably be optimal to put the wire machine over on this wall so it can go straight out that door. Yeah, dude. 15. We put the door in the same place. Door goes here. We got one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten ish. Call it maybe 11 with the wall. So 11 feet there. Think about maybe is you at least need to have room for a ladder that are yeah. machine. Coming in over there, maybe. Okay. I just saw that massive conduit drop down. Uh, there's a panel over there at least. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir, it's just single phase. Okay. And nonetheless, that's only, you've only got 200 amp service, single phase. Yeah. Basically what your house has. Well, yeah, let's get the ball rolling. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, it, September will be here before we know it. Yeah. So at first, I thought this was all bad news. We were going to have to put a new transformer on the pole. We're going to have to trench in new power. It was going to be mid five figures to bring full power into the building. But as luck should have it, Michael found a bit of a windfall for us. We may have three things. Might have looked just haven't utilized them. What are you looking for? I'm just counting the wires. So we got four wires here, which is a good thing. So we got black, red, blue, and white. We got three phase service. Okay. And there is an ample amount of power here for you. Okay. There's only 400 used here. You got okay. plenty of power to do anything you ever want to do. Okay. So we just got done. Now we're just leaving the new space for Ozark Wirework. It started off with bad news and then went to good news. So at first, uh, I don't know how much is gonna, audio is gonna work or whatever, so I'll walk you through it. As far as the electrical goes, at first we thought it was just single phase into the building, which was kind of odd, but it also kind of made sense based on what the building was originally built for anyway. Uh, but on further inspection, 
uh, Michael found that there is three phase. There's all the power we can need as far as amperage and all that. There's more than what we need and honestly probably more than what we can use even after we expand. Great news. Uh, it, it took a <laughs> it took a five figure ballpark uh, down to four figures. So very nice. Also, we did a building walk with the outgoing tenant. Super great guy. Uh, just really great to work with. We are going to need to knock some walls down on phase one. We knew that going into it, but yeah, so everything is progressing kind of right, right on track. Ducks are starting to become in a row. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about the new building. Next up, I was incredibly honored to be asked to be on Dan Wheeler's podcast. Dan, thanks. I appreciate that. One of the big things we're talking about is a contest that's going on between Dan and Cannon and Dan Wheeler. Now, you'll want to listen to each podcast to figure out how you choose your favorite podcast. It's a discount code. But suffice to say, right now, one team is fairly ahead of the other. Tell you what, next week we've got real temperatures of 105, 107 next Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't, I don't sell to the public. Will not sell to the public. My thinking is if you got it and somebody wants to pay you money for it, you let them pay you money for it. In our market, uh, there's really no one else that does that, that sells to the public, it, fence companies that sell to the public. They all, they're all just close to the public. That's kind of where the thing started, was selling retail in person. And then we would start getting some requests. We would have out-of-town contractors come in, building you know, cell towers or pipeline work or something like that. Now, while I was being a guest on the fence industry's first podcast, Matt and Chase were busy trying to remove a Fairly difficult post. We just got in the truck today. We're headed to Great Southern Bank on Glenstone. We are going to go over there and fix a dumpster enclosure. There's a post that broke and we're gonna pull it out of the ground and reset it and get the gate in working order today. Stay tuned. This week's code is Trident. We're going to be digging out this post today, taking the hinges off, resetting it, and putting it back together. As you can see, we just got the post out. We just got done pulling this post out of the ground, and it looks like it was in there about four inches, and four inches just ain't going to cut it here. Words of wisdom! with Chase. Stay tuned for more words of wisdom with me, Chase. So we're back out here at Great Southern Bank. We have decided that we're gonna go ahead and use a plated post and replace of this post that was grouted in a small hole. We're gonna go ahead and throw it in. So we just finished up here out of Great Southern. We got our plated post anchored into the ground and we just finished welding our gate back onto the post. We just finished up and we're getting ready to get out of here. Another one done. So Scott's truck has been on the road for a little bit. It was due for an upgrade. And this week was the week for that upgrade. We scheduled a day off for the truck. Matt and the team and Scott jumped in, made a few well-deserved overdue modifications. Thinking like pilot to here, yeah, okay. right across uh, where the tire is. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one right here. All right. I 
just like that, the truck becomes a little bit more usable, slightly more efficient. To round out the week, we stopped by the new Ozark Wireworks location to visit an auction from the previous tenant. So we're on our way back to the new building because while we were there the other day, uh, just reviewing it, seeing, measuring and all that, we learned that he's having an auction today, Saturday morning, or they're auctioning off like desks and tape, basically all the office furniture that we're going to need to get started there. So uh, we're going there to see if we can't uh, save ourselves a little bit of trouble, give this guy a little bit, you know, more for what he's looking for and possibly it could be a win-win. Now there's a lot of stuff there we're not going to need, so I don't know. Anyway, we'll have a better look around once we get there. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Chris Treese about bringing that door back to here yeah. and then just dropping all this. He said the lights would be a problem. We're going to go through and so it's on the table. We're going to go back and then do choice to have you buy one, you buy them all. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. So we'll get started right here in the microwave. All right, so the microwave. All right, get over the pan. I check out the pan, over the pan, and then over the pan, over the pan, five. I'll five to five, five, seven and a half, seven fifty, seven and a half, seven fifty, seven and a half. So five dollars right here. Good number sixty-one. The auction went really well. I found a lot of good stuff that we'll be able to use for the new office. There you are. All right, here's the game. We're going to walk through, show you guys. On, you guys have probably seen some clips of what we bought, but I'm going to give you a walkthrough on what all we got. And then you're gonna guess in the comments below what we paid for. Starting in this room, we got all of these cleaning chemicals right here. We got all of these pin boards and peg boards. We got a bunch of three ring binders. I don't think, that's not ours. No. Uh, got a bunch of books, some intense reading here, managing stress the complete idiot's guide to managing stress. That'll be a good one. My cousin John's really into Earnhardt, so got some really good Earnhardt stuff. I didn't know this was included in it, but we have new toilet lids. So all the trash cans and the buckets. We got all the brooms and dust mops. So in here, we got a very nice rolling chair, good condition. We got all the chair mats. We got all the stacking chairs here. And then we bought all the tables, I don't think we bought those. We did not. I'm, yeah, so just the tables, which is this table, this table, that table, the small, if it's a table in here, I think we bought it. We bought this very nice table, and this dude is solid. I mean, it's, it's a beefy table. And here we bought a very nice computer desk, and again, solid, so it's not particle board. We bought a two-wheel dolly, an executive desk. We bought <laughs> one, two, three, four ladders. So four four footers and a whatever that is, eight footer, seven footer. We bought a very nice stool. We bought some trash cans. We bought mop buckets, two shop vacs, another slightly used mop bucket, a magnet. Uh, we bought that table. We didn't buy the compressor though. We also bought all the filing cabinets. Uh, we first bought the four good ones I wanted and then no one was buying the rest of them so we bought the rest of them. Oh, we bought this table and these scales which included these fine crates and some trays. We bought these three racks or storage shelves and whatnot. Pretty solid plastic. It's pretty good stuff. They came with the bins. They came with everything because so, nobody was buying it. So now check this out. So, um, okay, I'll, I'll give you guys a hint, or I don't know, fifteen dollars for all three shelves included everything on, it. which included these Polycom phones. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven of these things, and when we bought new Polycom phones, they were hundred dollars a piece. So figure that into your calculations. We bought these perforated mats and those fatigue mats. Oh, we forgot one thing. Come with me to the front. Can't forget the most important item. 
mats, the entrance mats. Yep. This was one of the first things we bought and uh, plans are to keep it in place. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think we, uh, what do you think we paid for all this? Let me know in the comments. We'll pick out a special prize for whoever gets closest. All right, now we gotta get back to the shop. And just like that, another week is in the books. I think you'll agree with me that it was a bit of a success. I'd love to hear about your guys' success. How did your weeks go? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Joe Everest, the fence expert, reminding you that good fences make good neighbors.